And we're going to be talking about Saturday afternoon's big game from Oklahoma in Norman at Memorial Stadium, where the Sooners will host the Tulane Green Wave. And uh, all week they will have seen the scare that Tulane gave Kansas State as the Green Wave led that game uh, at halftime and looked like they were going to be in it for the duration, but then made a critical error fumbling and uh, ultimately losing on a 60-yard scoop and score as K-State took the lead and never looked back in a 34-27 to win. Uh, while Oklahoma survived Houston, which uh, normally wouldn't seem like a big surprise, but the Houston Cougars offense if you've seen anything about college football uh, thus far this season, is really non-existent at the moment. Uh, so at this point, they are still looking for it. They will play Rice, uh, will the Houston Cougars. And if they somehow lose that game and they're only favored uh, by a slight margin, uh, they could be looking at a winless season under Willie Fritz, who uh, just happens to be the old Tulane head coach. He's been replaced by John Summerall, who had a wonderful year at Troy and is uh, really recognized as a bright young defensive mind. Uh, and he had the K-State Wildcats on the ropes, uh, really had uh, had them struggling. On third down, they went two for 10, uh, did the Wildcats. So uh, they have some issues to clean up, does Kansas State. And uh, the Tulane Green Wave will now move on to Norman, where they will look to take a shot at upsetting the Sooners now in the SEC as a 14-point underdog. Total opened at 50 and is now down to 47 and a half. And that's where we will give our opinion here and ride the under. So grab it. Uh, if it moves back up, up ticks to 48 or 48 and a half. Great. Uh, if you see it trickling down to 47 or 46 and a half, grab it at the highest point possible. Uh, so right now I'm giving you the thumbs up on 47 and a half. Uh, it's a really good two-lane defense that comes into Norman uh, to face an offense that really has not taken off yet. And, you know, I think we've seen the last, at least temp for the next few seasons, of uh, the Lincoln-Riley effect in Norman. Uh, Dylan Gabriel is gone now. He is playing for Oregon and, and having some growing pains due to that offensive line in Eugene. Uh, but... Currently, they have Jackson Arnold, a top five recruit, uh, really trying to find his way still. Uh, he started the bowl game for the Sooners, and they got stopped by Arizona. He played against Temple in the se season opener, had some nice moments. Uh, Oklahoma was our call in the game and actually covered that spread. But, uh, you know, certainly left some plays out there, did Arnold and the Sooners offense. They lost Jalil Farouk, the wide receiver, to an injury. He'll be back at some point this season, but is currently out. Dion Burns, the Purdue transfer, really been a standout for the Sooners thus far, but that's really it. Andrew Anthony's still working his way back from an, an injury. So we'll see what Oklahoma ultimately turns into in their first season in the SEC. But for now, there's still a work in progress. Uh, Gavin Sawchuck, the running back, still has not hit the ground running yet. Javante Barnes has had some slow issues. And next week, Oklahoma hosts Tennessee. And so there is a look-ahead factor involved. Tulane, if they have enough reserves in the tank, can certainly upset uh, Oklahoma or give them a uh, significant scare, as they did Kansas State. And they were a 14-point underdog in this one. So I would certainly lean towards Tulane. But our call here is on the under at 47.5. Thus far, the under 2-0 and oh in Sooner games one and one in games involving the green wave, the uh, money line in this game, if you want to take a shot at Tulane outright, is plus 420. And there are some 13 and a halves out there uh, looking at some uh, current, uh, and I, I take this early in the week, so there are no player props available yet. But uh, currently, Oklahoma's total points is at 30 and a half, and Tulane's is at 16 and a half. Uh, their team totals. I would bet the over on Tulane and the under on Oklahoma. Again, think that this will be a low scoring game, but competitive, uh, something like 24 17 Sooners, uh, which would get us home on both ends. And again, we mentioned that uh, Tulane has uh, some 
really good defensive players. Uh, thus far, Patrick Jenkins, the gifted defensive tackle who play on Sundays, is anchoring the defensive line. They've got some strong linebackers returning. Uh, the offense, not quite what it was. Michael Pratt is uh, on a practice squad, I believe, with Tampa Bay. Ty Spears, who you might remember uh, from a couple of years ago, uh, an all-purpose back. He's uh, playing with the Titans. Makai Hughes is now his replacement, really talented back as well. But Tulane, at their best moment, would like to run the football and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Oklahoma defensively. And uh, the quarterback for the Green Wave is Darian Mensah, who uh, came out of nowhere and won some uh, seal of approval over Ty Thompson, the Oregon uh uh, transfer and uh, a returning quarterback that played a lot of snaps last year um, that uh, ultimately Ty Horton did not uh, win this job. So they're both waiting in the wings, but currently it's Mensa's show and he has a lot of ability. So if this game is tight in the fourth quarter, don't write off the green wave. Certainly don't hop in on the Sooners in game if they're off to a slow start uh, saying uh, they'll eventually figure this out. Maybe they won't. Tulane, again, let one get away against Kansas State. If they're in the same boat in Norman, uh, they might be able to seal the deal. But our play here is on the under. We gave you winners with Auburn in California playing the, the Golden Bears, who won outright, plus the 12 and a half. And uh, we also were on uh, Boise State at Oregon. And uh, Boise played really well, obviously, before running out of gas there, but did wonders to their uh, resume as far as the college football playoff is concerned since the 12 team field will take one group of five and might end up being Boise if they run the table in the Mountain West. Tulane's got a shot if they uh, can beat Oklahoma uh, and uh, run the table in the American where Memphis is favored and there are a couple of other good teams. So this is a very interesting game for both of these squads. Again, Sooners play Tennessee next week. Tulane looking forward to playing giant killer before starting their AAC slate. We like the under and lean to lane. Smash that like button. Make sure that you are subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV. And also uh, be aware that we have great deals going on at Wager Talk and Sports Memo for you to take advantage of. You can follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. Follow me at uh, Sports Memo at sm.buzz slash TDM so you never miss a package deal. Uh, and we'll get you covered on uh, you know a lot of great deals that we have going on uh, at Sports Memo. And again, at Wager Talk, we have now, uh, I believe, $5 Tuesdays. They have some other great deals. We're going to have uh, specials to get you set up for this football season so you make a killing with all of our handicappers. Just pick a handful of your favorites and let's cash. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend.